Gilded Tarot. Hope you guys' day is going well. Because my day has been eventful and it hasn't even really started yet. The Everyday's Witch. Plow 2. Here's the card so you can see. Pile 3. The Light Sears. And here's the card. Now I want to say this for everybody. Because I know when I get the pile 1, 2, and 3, everybody's not going to look at all the piles. So I tried to do this reading, right? And for some reason, it, it wasn't going. I couldn't upload it. But for pile 1, how your person felt about you, we're going to do another reading, of course. But the energy that came across is like you don't like to deal with your feelings. And you run from your problems. And you, you don't like to, um, you'll argue, but you don't like to talk about your feelings. So that was the gist of that for pile one. So pick your pile and we'll, I'll be back with you. Pile one, you're up. I'm going to say my little spiel, not going to be long. And then we're going to get into your reading. If you want to see the timestamp, look inside the description box. If you can't find it inside the message box, because the message box the video has to be uploaded and be able to view for, for everyone to view it for me to put the timestamp in there. So if you look at the video and it's not there, look in the description box. If you hear music, I don't have copyrights to it. If you see smoke billowing in the cameras, it's my sage. So thank you, you guys who have subscribed to my channel. I appreciate you for my new and old subscribers. We get, we're inching closer to 100, so we're a little closer to having your contest for you as well. I smoke. If you smoke, I would enjoy if you smoke with me. If you drink, get your drink, kick up your feet, hold the vibes with me, and get some messages. So, power one, the pick a card reading is, how does the person you would think and feel about you? And I'm sure you heard the little spiel in the beginning if you didn't and you click right to power one power one i tried to do your video and my camera was acting crazy but the message that came out was like you're very argumentative you will argue about your problems but you won't bring emotions to the problem you try to duck a lot of tower moments which means when something happened you try to brush it over like nothing is going on so that's, that's how your um, person was thinking and feeling for you, feeling about you. They thought you was like immature emotionally. So let's go. Gatekeepers, how does Pow one's person feel about them? I'm going to try to put the feelings on one side and thoughts on another side. They probably mesh together though. How Pow's one person feel about them and think about them what are their thoughts about power one what is the person's thoughts thoughts about power one so for starters the energy kind of changed so that's good the temperance Sagitt Sagittarius energy so, they thinking that you're trying to balance yourself, or you are a balanced person. Hold on, I'm going to get the video together, because it's kind of dark, and uh, one second. Okay, Pile 1, we back. Sorry for that interruption. So, the person that you with, how they feel and think about you, they feel like you're trying to, it's a Sagittarius energy. Either you're a balanced person, or you're trying to balance yourself. When I left, two cards came out. So the second card is Five of Pentacles, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Um, are you in a need for assistance of some for something? I don't know what, but the Five of Pentacles card is being left out. Or you feel like down on yourself or you feel a lack. You feel like you have a lack for some reason. Why is the Five of Pentacles here in regards to how how one's person feel and think about them? 
Why is the Five of Pentacles here, gatekeepers? Thank you. Because the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups is self-love, a person that have self-love. What a Pisces Cap... Um, what a... Sorry for this. <laughs> when I said Capricorn, Cancer is the flip side of a Capricorn. And I was going to say Pisces, Scorpio, and Cancer. So they feel that you... you um, this is, again, self-love. Or a person that's trying to set out and look for brand new love. And how, why would that make sense if this is how your person feel about you unless y'all breaking up? Y'all in the process of breaking up. Why is the Ace of Cups? Because you're the Queen of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. The Queen of Pentacles is somebody that's mature, stable. they very very um, nurturing. You like the better things in life. You're a philanthropist. Well, you have that type of philanthropist energy. Why is the Five of Pentacles here? Oh, that, that doesn't make the Five of... The Ace of Cups is here because of the Queen of Pentacles. Maybe you think more about your money than feelings. And they feel you need to balance that. Because the Five of Pentacles here, again, so this is a person who feel like they don't have enough money. Like they're being left out. But pop, we popped out, you're the Queen of Pentacles, so you have more than enough. Why well, is the Queen of Pentacles here in regards to how the person that they deal with feel about them? Why is the Five of Pentacles clarifying the Queen of Pentacles in regards to how a person wants? Because you walk away from things. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You walk away from love. You start things and walk away from it. And the Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups is a happy home, happy family, happy foundation. Everything happy, happy, happy. Your wishes are being fulfilled. Again, this is a Pisces, Scorpio, and um, Cancer card. So, you're the Queen of Pentacles. The Five of Pentacles is here, so I already kind of explained that. The Eight of Pen the Eight of Cups and the Ten of Cups. You walk away from things, your person view you of walking away from love or walking away from people or whatever projects to, to ensure or to maintain your happy home, your happy family. Because Ten of Cups is happy everything. Everything is going well. Money, like job, you have no worry about food, you have no worry about friends. Like everything is good for you. Are you looking for a new love? Do your person think you're looking for somebody like you're going to leave them? Why is the, um, the emperor came out? Who is this emperor to power one? Who is this? The Page of Cups. Okay. Who is this page? Is this your child's father? You have the emperor. And then you have the page of cups. So is this your child father? Who's this page of cups to this emperor? And who's the emperor to power one? Gatekeepers. Thank you. The hangman. This is somebody that's watching you. Can you see? The, yeah, you can see the cards. You see how the emperor is looking at the Ten of Cups, looking at you walk away, look at you trying to balance yourself. He's looking at all this happen. The hangman. It's a Pisces card. So he's watching this happen. A, a um, hangman is someone that um, keep themselves suspended so they can look at a situation or a problem in an another light, a another view. Who is this page of cups to power one? Who's the page of cups to power one? Is this your child? Because the queen of wands just popped out. The queen of wands is a fire sign. Leo, Sagittarius. Aries, what is Sagittarius energy? So I said, who is the page of cups to power one? And you popped out. So is this your child?
This page of cups is looking a whole other direction. Like they're not even interested. What is this page of cups doing here? The page of cups. The five of cups came out. The five of cups is again water. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. The five of cups is somebody that's not getting what they want. They, they, again, this is somebody that that's like depressed or would lack because look at the card upright. Yes, you have two cups back there representing uh, choices or ideal love. Yes, they're behind you. Okay, you still have that going for yourself and you weren't about these cups that fell in front of you. Forget the cups that fell in front of you. You need to f focus on these two cups back here. Is the two cups back there the family? I'm not sure. The five of swords is on the bottom. And this came out in the last reading that I tried to upload and it was a problem. Someone who plays not well. They like to they like to do things to um, win. Things they shouldn't do. They'll do anything to win. So you have to fight. I got to tell you one thing with this reading. Whoever picked power one, you're about to go undergo some changes. Because five of pentacles here, five of cups is here, and five of swords here. I want you to Google five, five, five. Because you're about to go through some changes. If you Google it, you'll see. If you call, if you're called to Google it, Google it. You'll see. The top of the cards is three of cups. So I don't know if somebody's cheating. If somebody's more interested in, in partying and, and, and getting together with their friends or cheating or you have somebody with your mate, they watching you, they, and you walking away. If you have gotten something from this pal, I appreciate it if you could like and you subscribe. If you're not subscribed, leave me a message. If you want to leave me a message, I'll respond to you. Until the next video, take care, pal one. Pal two, you are up. If you're looking for the timestamp, look inside the description box. If you don't see it inside the um, where you leave the messages. Because again, I have to upload the video for the public for me to be able to put the timestamp inside the message box. So just look in the um, description box for default. Now the music that you hear, I don't, I don't own the copyrights to that. I don't own rights to that. As well, if you smoke, because I smoke and you want to smoke with me, I appreciate if you pull up and smoke. If you drink... Get your drink, kick up your feet, and see if you could get some insight from my reading. And I appreciate you guys for visiting my channel and seeing my content. If you're not subscribed and you have gotten something from this, I appreciate if you have, if you would subscribe. Sorry for that. And for my subscribers, old and new, I thank you kindly. And we're inching closer to 100. And then, you already know, it's contest time. So... Let's see what's going on with you guys. The topic is, how does the person you are with feel about you and think about you? Gatekeepers, how does the person, how to, is with, feel about them and think about them? How does Pal one partner feel about them and think about them gatekeepers ace of pentacles in reverse the three of swords the queen of wands and the hangman so so far we have the ace of pentacles which is virgo capricorn and how my brain stop taurus and then you have three of swords, Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini. You have the Queen of Wands, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Then you have the Hangman, Pisces. Okay, so the Queen of Wands, let's start with the Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles upright is some a young person. They're a very young person. You see how they're looking at the pinnacle? Like, what am I going to do with this pinnacle? They're like in an 18-year-old age or early 20s. So it's in reverse. So they, they, they see that you're not um, being creative. Seems like you lost your creativity. 
You're not looking for no new projects. You're not looking to start nothing new and grounded with anybody, right? That's what this is about. Okay, so the Three of Swords is someone that's heartbroken. See, has been stabbed in the heart. And then you have the journal here, like you writing in your journal. And then you have a pen here with like the ink pen with the ink. Like it's spilled over, like you're not even writing in your journal. It's just like it's tipped over. I don't know where this person has gone, but the Queen of Wands is right here. So you are the Queen of Wands. And the Queen of Wands here is being, it's like a Queen of Wands is someone that's fiery, creative, very, um, alluring, very charming, very fiery. And the hangman just hangs themselves in a position and watch what's going on. This person is in a meditative state, though. We're going to figure out, I said, how does your person feel about you? So who's the queen of wands? Then we can go and see what, where this is going. Who's the the Queen of Wands is the star of Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini, but it's uh, Aquarius. The star is somebody that's a visionary, someone that's like, when I say a visionary, they tapped into the ethers and to the earth. They very tapped in. Vision, um, so they see the Queen of, well, I'm stuttering over myself. The Queen of Wands, you, you guys... Whether you're man or female, because you could be a man and be looked at as a queen of wands. The Aquarius energy came out. So, you are a visionary. You someone, some of the swords came out again too. So, you you are a um, fire sign or air sign, because the opposite end of a fire sign is an air sign. Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra came out. This is a seven of swords. Seven of swords is somebody who sneaks away, who take their things and or... To be honest, in this picture, it looks like you are gathering your things and you're running away. And your cat is following behind you. And cats are sneaky. And cats are um, intuitive. They're mysterious. So this is how your um, person view you. I don't know. Is this cat your spirit animal or something? Because the cat is in this um, picture too. Like your cat is always in the, following you around. But in this picture, like I said, look like this person is just leaving the scene. Now, a seven of swords is normally a person who's a snake in the grass, basically. They're a snake in the grass. They do all type of conniving things. But the seven of swords is going to the hangman. Why is the hangman here in regards to how this person... The knight of swords. The knight of swords is a young 20-something-year-old person. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. They look at you like you go from calm until impulsive. Because swords are impulsive. Very impulsive. Maybe you're on the border of uh, Aquarius and a Pisces. Maybe you're on a cusp. You're a cusp, baby. What's going on with the Seven of Swords? Why does they partner look at... The Eight of Swords. It's a lot of air on in this... You guys are air sign or fire sign because it's nothing but air and fire besides this ace of pentacles here. Eight of swords is somebody trapped in their head. Someone have themselves bound. Someone Eight of swords is no, normally someone depressed or someone that um, have PTSD. There's a little bird here. Like, again, birds bring messages. Like, you're trapped in your head. Why are you trapped? Why eight of swords is trapped in their head? I can't even ask the questions I want to ask with the title because this has taken a turn. Why is the Eight of Swords here? Why is all this... Okay. Because of the Page of Cups and again, the Page of Swords. This is a bunch of immaturity. This is a page of cups. Page of cups is Pisces, but it's Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. It's Pisces energy. You see how you the cup, this person, the little kid out their cup and they're holding it back? 
Like they're not willing to give up any love. They're not willing to apologize. This is a very intuitive person though. And again, the Pisces hangman energy is here. And then we have Page of Swords. The Page of Swords is the truth. What I'm saying is the truth, even though it doesn't make sense to me. But it's the truth. And it's a channeled message. And it's also an immature person that likes to stalk and gossip and start all type of trouble. Why does Page of Swords throw down his bag? It's like it threw down his bag. Pages of Swords are very, like, like they can be fiery because the opposite end of an air sign is fire, like a Leo, Sagittarius, or Aquarius. And this would be a Aries, the opposite end of this um, air sign. And air signs are very impulsive. This doesn't make sense to me. Hopefully it makes sense to you. Your person probably look at you as a star as well. Someone that's always seen because it's under the Queen of Wands. So I'm really getting Leo. And even though the Queen of Wands is Sagittarius, I'm getting Leo energy heavy out of this. Leo or Aquarius energy. This last question and I'm done with this. Why is the Page of Swords here in regards to how? Wow. The Knight of Cups. A person that's young in love. Someone that's like daydreams about love. They have an idealistic view of love, even though it's not ideal. And you see how the shark is underneath him? And he just on his, <laughs> with no care, he just going with his cup with all his whole love. He's wherever he going, he going. He's heading towards the star. Like he want to bring love to the star. This is very confusing to me. Then you have the Page of Pentacles on the bottom. Why wow, all these children energy is here? Page of Pentacles is somebody that holds back on love or very young in love. No, I shouldn't say love. They hold back on their money because it's Pentacles. They hold back on their money and they're very young with money. They don't know what to do with money. Let me ask this one last question and seriously I'm done with this because I have to go to Pal 3. I can't give you guys a lot of time and not them. Why is all these pages here? What's all this page energy for why does the person they deal with feel and think about them? Why is all this page? Because it's just like childish. Why is this page energy here? Why is all this page energy? Unless this group is a, a young um group. Because the Ten of Cups is in reverse. Yeah. You don't think with your heart, even though it's like somebody fantasizing in love over here and flying in a on a broom. Ten of Cups in reverse is not a happy home. It's not a happy foundation. A Ten of Cups is everything like wish fulfillments to the maximum. Happy family, happy friends, happy children. You see the cat laid over in bliss, sleeping, napping, his food is picnic. There's, there's no happiness here. There's no happiness here. The temperance came out. Temperance is Sagittarius trying to balance yourself. And then the justice. Somebody wants justice here. Somebody wants the scales balanced and justice. And there's fighting going on. Look, the white cat, the black cat. The white cat is wanting to fight over there with the black cat. Yeah, th that's what's going on here. I could dig and dig and dig. But it's a whole lot of thinking going on. Too much thinking and not enough love in this situation. That's how your person looking at you. And this person is the page of pentacles. They set out on new, ex new, new adventures. They think of creative endeavors. So, how to, if you have received any messages from this and it's helped you in any way, I'd appreciate if you can like. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. And take care. Until your next reading. Yeah, it's not a happy home. There's a lot of children here. Is it not a, yeah, the, okay. Until next time, take care, you guys. Pal 3, you are up. My quick spiel. If you hear music in the background, which you should, not a, I doubt you do. I don't have any copyrights. If you see smoke billowing, it's between my sage and my weed. If you smoke, you can pull up with me and you can smoke with me. If you drink, kick up your feet with your drink and see if you could get some messages from this reading. I appreciate my subscribers who have subscribed. The new ones and the ones from the beginning. If you're not subscribed and you have received, 
some info from this reading. I appreciate if you can like the video and also subscribe. The timestamp will be inside the description if you don't see it inside the message box. So the reading today is, how does your partner feel about you and think about you? And I hope you guys are having a good day thus far. Because it's early in the morning now that I'm filming this. But my day has been pretty eventful already. I got a lot of things done. So hopefully it's been a productive day for you guys. So let's go. Gatekeepers. Light my sage back because it's going out. Gatekeepers, how does Pal 3 partner feel about them and think about them? If you want any other messages and drawn to other pals, go to other pals. The Queen of Swords and the Five of Swords. So, so far, your person look at you as a person that's no nonsense. You're a very smart person. You know nonsense, though. You see, you have your sword there ready to cut somebody if they come to you with some bullshit. And you have five of swords. I mean, yeah, five of swords. Again, Libra, um, Gemini, and Aquarius. So I don't know what you're thinking about. The bird is here trying to bring you messages. One is on your shoulder. This person in the background, like they giving they self up to, the, to whoever they pray to. You see the blood back there? Something is bothering your brain. Whatever thoughts you have, something is bothering you. Why is the Queen of Swords here in regards to Power 3 person and how they view them? Why is the Queen of Swords here? Why is the Queen of Swords here in regards to how they person feel about them? The Emperor. Taurus energy. Okay, being that it fell out, I'll take it. The High Priestess is here. So, Pal 3, you guys are supposed to know how your partner feels about you. High Priestess is a Pisces card. A High Priestess is somebody who knows everything and says nothing. She's very spiritual. She's tapped into the universe and the earth. The High Priestess is also looked at as someone as a scientist. She knows how to play with elements. She knows how to play, make spells, whether good or bad. So you guys are supposed to know, being that that really wanted to show itself, because I tried to put it back, but it really popped out and wanted to show itself. So you have the Emperor energy. Watch the Emperor here in regards to how they person feel about them. The Nine of Swords. The Nine of Swords... Is somebody that's really bound in their head, stressed out in thought, can't sleep. They have they thoughts of trouble in them. Look, these dark thoughts. And there's a light trying to come in. You see the light? Like angelic bird trying to come in, trying to give you some good healing, but it's being blocked off with all this negativity. And this bird these this too. Dark I don't know what's going on here. But you guys know what's going on here because the High Priestess is here. Once the High Priestess is here, I already know you guys are supposed to know. Why? Because I'm a High Priestess. I'm a Pisces. Not only that, I'm a Pisces. I'm a High Priestess. I know everything. I'm always 10 steps ahead of everybody. What is Power 1 in the head about? Why are they person looking at them like they stressed out in their head? Not Power 1, sorry. Maybe you guys should go to Power 1 you get some information over there. Power 3. Thank you, gatekeepers. Three of Cups is here. I mean, not Three of Cups. Three of Pentacles is here. Like, there's a lot of juggling going on. There's a lot of teamwork going on. Do you have projects going on? Do you have a lot of, like, are you a business person? And you have staff you have to deal with or worry about? The Knight of um, Swords is here. This is an um, impulsive person. Le um, Gemini, Aquarius, and um, 
Libra energy. It's nothing but swords here. And then you have the high priestess energy, and then you have the three of pentacles. So whoever this, whoever you guys are, or whoever you're dealing with, or whoever you are, uh, you have a large fire. Um, if you're not a fire or air sign, you have a large fire or air position. And like I said, it looks like you're stressed out about work or team, coming together as a team. And it looks like you're running away. What is the Knight of Swords? No, no, one second. Why is the Knight of Swords here in regards to how they partner view them and feel about them and think about them? Why is the Knight of Swords here? The Page of Wands here. Yeah, you a fire sign or, or air. It's, so, it's nothing but this on a board. The Page is another young person. Someone that's fiery, creative, very adventurous. Someone that likes to have fun. Throw, they, um, throw care to the wind. This is... Uh, this is not making sense to me. Maybe... I'm going to pause this and think about questions to ask. Because I don't want the time to run out. One second. Okay, I came back. Now, I'm thinking, before I pull another card, I'm thinking this High Priestess and this Page of Wands and this Knight of Swords is, I don't know how you are in a relationship, but you guys are supposed to know. So I'm going to just say it as your person is looking at you as, as someone trapped in your head or stressed out because of a third party and this side is running and leaving and being carefree so i don't know who's stressed out who's being carefree and you're in your pal three and you're in your life but what is the three what is this page of wands about why is this page of wands here the hangman again a pisces card they suspended themselves, or they got themselves caught up in something that they shouldn't have got themselves caught up in, this Page of Wands. Page of Wands like to have a lot of sex, impulsive sex, too. Let me, I didn't put that in there because I didn't think it was going to need to go there. But, yeah, just to bring that out, that's another way to look at it. And it's three of pentacles here, three people getting together and working together. So, it could be potentially you stressed out because, you know, your partner's with somebody else, or they running and leaving you, and, again, the... Pisces card is here. High Priestess, Pisces. You know what's going on here. Please. I, I always say please, like, please. But, like, seriously, Pal 3, if you don't mind leaving me what's going on, if you've gotten something from this, please do that. What's going on with this Nine of Swords? Why is the Nine of Swords is here in such 